With over 100,000 DVDs to choose from, including classics, new releases, and TV series, there has never been a better time to join Netflix. Visit netflix.com slash labrats for a free two-week trial. Plans start at $4.99 a month. You keep each movie as long as you want, and there are never any late fees. Cancel any time, plus watch movies over the Internet for no extra charge. Visit netflix.com slash labrats. Hey, and welcome to Lab Rats, a TV show, a podcast even, about technology where we make it simple and a little bit funny. <laughs> it's just that funny. It is. It's really funny. My name is Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. And uh, today on the show, you know, we talk about technology on the show all the time. And sometimes we take like little terms, tech terms, terms that confuse people and demystify them. So today the term that we're going to demystify is, Sean? Glue? It's not blue. Smarties? No. But we're going to use glue and Smarties to demystify something else. Yeah, we're going to talk to you about resolution. Resolution. What exactly is resolution? Is this like I made a resolution not to eat so many Smarties? No, it's like what resolution is that picture? Ah. Uh -huh. Very important term. A term that mystifies people all the time. So we're going to demystify it. Right? Very good. And we're going to use Smarties and glue and stuff like that another food demo and we know that you love food demos so that's coming up after this so stay with us and we'll be back with resolution why are you eating the props we need those Oh, sorry. We're good. All right. You know what Smarties are? The, our do American know viewers are. don't know what Smarties are. In America, it's just powdered little, nasty little things made by seedy candy. Mm -hmm. In Canada, in England, they're actually like M&Ms, flattened M&Ms. Mm -hmm. See, inside, they're really yummy. A candy-coated shell, milk chocolate inside, they're delicious. Mm. Oh, that's disgusting. Interesting story, uh, Morgan Webb, the uh, G4 Tech TV host. Yes. Originally from Canada, she once asked on air for people to send her Smarties because she missed them. Mm -hmm. And people sent her all those tiny little powdered candies, and she was like, I don't want these, you want these. With the real ones. Yeah, so, anyway. so there you go. Now you know. Today on the show, forget that these are Smarties. They are not candy-coated chocolate deliciousness. They are colored pixels, points right. of light. Yeah. But let's get into the topic at hand. Yes, so what is resolution, Mr. Walker? What is resolution? Well, resolution is actually a term to describe the amount of information inside of something digital. Now, most commonly we use it to determine the quality of a picture. But you could actually use the word resolution. What resolution is your sound file? And it's a measure of the information and how detailed the particular file is. So in the case of a picture, how many pixels are inside the, the, uh, the photo file to, di to actually display it, right? But mm -hmm. of course, you know, you could say in, in, the, in the world of audio, we talk about audio resolution, it's mm -hmm. bit, what's called bit rate. Yes. We won't get into that because it's too complicated. Mm -hmm. But we want, do want to talk about why resolution is really important. So I think you created a little demonstration for us, right? Yes, we uh, have a uh, little, we use the Smarties here. I mean, these, these right here are good for props, but you know what? It took a little bit of time a bit earlier to. Uh, to try to demystify this whole process using these uh, Smarties mm -hmm. on the, the stage here. So we've got resolution, each of these right here, and so I think some of these are going to start sliding off a little bit. We didn't give them enough time to dry, but okay. um, resolution, each of these has a different resolution. Right. Same, same image, different resolution. Right. So we start with something that's big, and you can actually make out the detail in here. Right. Because it has a higher resolution. So you're so imagining that this is actually a photograph, right? Right. It displays something. Exactly. So each one of the Smarties is actually a point of data, right? It's actually a color that actually makes up the image. Right. So how would we measure the resolution of this particular? Well, this one right here we would measure by counting the number of pixels across times the number of pixels down. Right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So or 12, something like that, so, yes. So that would have a resolution of 10 times 12. 12, which would be 120 pixels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean, for the sake of uh, argument here, I decided not to, or for the sake of speed, I decided not to do actually like a thousand pixels across, because that would just take too much time. Mm -hmm. You're eating my demo. <laughs> oh, so, it's kind of gluey. 
it is kind of glue. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so here's here's why resolution is important. The mm. higher the resolution you have, the more detail you can get into this. Right. So we've taken this same image and tried to reproduce it in a smaller resolution, which is even smaller now that you've eaten some of this. <laughs> but you'll notice that there's not as much detail. So this you can actually start seeing the sides of the. Uh, of this diamond in the middle. This right here, it's kind of more jaggy. It actually right. looks more like an X. So we've actually downsized the photograph mm -hmm. from here to here, mm -hmm. and we've taken some data away. We've taken data away right. to accomplish And actually this. destroyed that data, mm -hmm. right? So when you're actually downsizing, you're resizing images and things like that, mm -hmm. and, you, and you downsize the resolution, what happens is you're taking pixels away and making the image smaller. Mm -hmm. Now that's useful, right? Because if you want to email an image, mm -hmm. or if you want to process the image or something like that, then you want to deal with less data. Yeah, the eye is pretty good at dealing with uh, less data mm -hmm. for the most part, especially on the screen. When you start resizing it down even further, we're getting down to this one on the far end over here, right. which has eliminated so much data that it's not even what the original image was because we've started taking, uh, so we've got green and purple and red in the original image, mm -hmm. and now to compress it down into even smaller amounts of pixels, we're now starting to have to fudge those colors a little bit mm -hmm. and create different colors that aren't the original colors. Right. So not only do you not have the same amount of data, you don't even have the same colors in right. some of the cases. Right, exactly. And that's what happens, right, when you take a, a large image. You know, it starts with a nice family portrait, and as you downsize it, of course, it gets fuzzier. It gets less easy to see the detail in it, that sort mm -hmm. of thing. But that said, it becomes more portable. Right. right? Now, this is uh, one question that we keep having about resolution. People ask, well, how come when I upscale an image, it doesn't look very good. Ah, very and good. this is why, because when you go from here to here, you have all of this data that the computer, when it's resizing your image, can guess between these two things, how to shrink it down. What can I throw away? What can I throw away? Mm -hmm. But when you start from this other end and try to make it bigger, right. there's no data there that uh, you can use for uh, for resizing. It doesn't have the information right. it needs to make it look better. So you can actually re you can actually scale an image back up again, right? You mm -hmm. can say, listen, let's make this larger. But what happens is, you only have a limited amount of de detail. Mm -hmm. So what the computer does, right, is it actually says, okay, well, it's kind of guess, mm -hmm. and it's going to put white space around the various pixels and that, and just kind of guess. But what happens is you get a sort of a stretchy, washed out kind of picture, right? Right, and initially in the picture, if you've got a small image and you have a picture of an eye, the eye has a lot of detail. It's got the pupil, it's got the iris, it's got the white spot, and it's got the area around that. But if you've started with a really small image and you try blowing it out, well, it might not get the detail of your pupil or your iris. It might just become a big splotch that gets bigger because it doesn't have that initial data that it needed to, to make it bigger. Right. So always easier to make it smaller. You're going to lose data, but it's always harder to bring it up to a larger size. And from a practical perspective, when you're using a photo editor, I mean, we always recommend Adobe Photoshop Elements, a $99 package, really great product for, you know, working with your photographs, or, you know, something as simple as, say, uh, you know, some of the, the free uh, files that, you know, you can download and, and edit image. Something with. like Earth and View, perhaps. Earth and View, for, for example, yeah, exactly. You know, well, when you're working with uh, items like that, you know, what you're going to do is, is use that to actually change, it'll actually say, you know, I want to use the resize button. And you'll say, what well, do you want to make it smaller or larger? You say, make it smaller, then you're going to be able to do that. If you make it larger, of course, and it's starting to get creamy and yucky and fuzzy and that sort of thing. Sort of like the glue over here. Sort of like the glue over there, exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, we should also address the idea of megapixels as well. Right. Google resolution, megapixels, what's the difference? Like, how does that all work? So let's talk very briefly about photographs and, mm -hmm. and the resolution of your digital camera. Mm -hmm. So uh, each. Uh, camera that you have these days is one of the measurements on it is the, how many megapixels, resolution in megapixels. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of synonymous when we're talking about digital cameras. Right. So, you know, I have an 8 megapixel digital camera. Sometimes you don't even say I've got a Canon digital camera. You say I've got an 8 megapixel digital mm -hmm. camera. And this measures how many pixels it can go across and down. And when you say megapixel, it's, it's not 100% uh, fixed. What it is is when you get to 1 million pixels. So that's X times X. So if you've got a widescreen, it stretches out a little bit longer than this. If you've got an old school one that's 4 by 3, it'll stretch it this way. So as long as whatever across times down equals 1 million, then you've got a megapixel. So let's define that for a second, right? So, so if you think about a megapixel, it's actually inside the camera is, is a, actually a chip that's light sensitive, mm -hmm. right? And it can capture data points, meaning pixels, right? Or, or pixels. pieces of light. So a megapixel chip inside of a camera can actually capture, if you times, as you said, if you do times the number of pixels across by the number of pixels down and you add it all up, it's going to actually be one million. Mm -hmm. So when you get like a five megapixel camera, you're talking about five million pixels being right. captured by that camera, right. right? Which means that the final photograph, of course, could be potentially really, yeah. really big, right? Right. 
and uh, the differing sizes on that. Uh, you know what, how much you need, and uh, you know what's enough and for what. It it will vary depending on what you. Want. I'm going to take you on a trip in your mind here. Okay. Okay. Ready? So we're going to start with one megapixel. Okay. Now we're looking at something about 1,100 pixels across by yes. maybe about 800 high. Okay. And okay. So now we're going to go up to two megapixel. Oh, it's getting bigger, man. Right. So now we're at 1,600 across yep. by 1,200 high. Okay. Okay. That's two megapixels. That's two megapixels. Okay. Take me to three megapixels, baby. All right. Now the numbers start getting a little bit more nebulous. I can never keep these in, in mind, but I'm going to look at this. Take the one megapixel and then the two megapixel. Then we're going to add the third megapixel around here. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go up to five mm -hmm. and add this around here. Got it. Now we're going to have 8 megapixel, which is one of the common ones. Mm -hmm. And that's how it looks compared to this. Wow, OK. OK. And now we've got 10 megapixels, which is the next big step. That's pretty darn big. And then 12 megapixels. Now you notice, <laughs> as it goes up in this, you're only adding a sliver on the outside of each of these things. Because can, I, can I open my eyes now? You can open your eyes now. Um, you're only adding a sliver on the outside of each of these. It's not actually doubling. Uh, in dimensions, because every time you double it in one dimension and the other dimension, you're yeah. actually quadrupling it. Oh, All right. right. So you're just adding slivers on. So it increases in little bits and pieces. Right. But the important thing to remember here when we're talking about megapixels and cameras and what you need is what are you going to be using your camera for? Right. So if I'm going to take this picture of you here, this right here is Let me a. Let like that for you. Yeah, this is right. great. So this is a 10 megapixel image here that I've yes. just taken. Got okay. It. Yeah. Now, let's put that 12 megapixel uh, grid back up on the screen here. Okay. Put you in there. Hello. And now, let's put the 1 megapixel back up on the screen, inset on there, and see how much of that you're going to see. And you know why I said 1 megapixel? Why? How, what's the resolution of your screen typically? Uh, on a computer screen, it's like 1280 by 768, something like that. Which is 10, just... 10, 10, so 1280 yeah. by 1024. Yeah. yeah, so which is about a megapixel. Mega, about a mega, megapixel. Right, so your, oh, your okay. computer screen is typically about a megapixel. Right. So if all you plan to do with your camera is take pictures and put them up on the web... You just need a one megapixel? You one don't really need much more than that, unless you really want to zoom into the details. But, now, go on. when you start printing, that's when you start wanting to get bigger. That's right. Right, because then you're looking at something like 300 dots per inch on there. So that we're going to talk about DPI in a further show later on. That's a good idea. Let's do a show like the screen resolution versus yeah. printer resolution, yeah. right? A very different kind of uh, mathematics, yeah. and it's kind of complex. So let's yeah. dedicate an entire yeah. show to it. Okay? Yeah. So when you try taking a one megapixel image and blowing it up to 8 by 10, yeah. now remember what happened when we looked at that smaller uh, bunch of smarties and tried blowing it up to yeah. a, a larger size, Right. well, you're going to start getting blockiness. You're going to start getting things that don't resemble the original image. Ah, oh, makes a lot of and sense. And it's going to look grainy. Okay, so cool. now when you're starting to get up to 2 megapixel will make a pretty good 4 by 6, but you 3 megapixel is even better. 5 megapixel is probably good when you're starting to get up to 8 by 10s. Mm -hmm. 10 and 12 megapixel cameras, they're very nice to have that extra information, but you probably don't really need that much information until you're starting to print poster size images. Oh, right. You don't need that resolution. But where you need part. a resolution like that, I think, would be you know if you like to shoot, for example, large family format photographs and yes. you want to zoom in on Uncle Bob. Yes. Because you can zoom in on Uncle Bob and still print him out on eight by ten, and it's all nice. Yes. Right. Or you could just you know. So that's a great way to do it's it. Click, zoom, crop. Crop. Cropping is very good. Mm. And uh, one of the things is, uh, I mean, just just as an example, we actually shoot a little bit more than you see here with high definition resolution and we actually squash it down a little bit to, to get it on the screen and that gives us room to sort of stretch things out a bit. Now that brings me to another thing which is, you know, resolution is also important in terms of video too. Yes. Because of course the, uh, the frame of the video of course is rated as well. We mm -hmm. don't talk into mega, in terms of megapixels though. No, anyway, not yet. Not yet. Well we will get to more on resolution in other shows including that DPI show. But we need to take a break right now and when we come back this bowl of Smarties will be gone when we come back. My tongue will be blue. Uh, it already is blue. Is it? <laughs> anyway, we'll be back after this message. And then we have our download of the day. Don't forget. You know, my favorite ones are the red ones. 
when you eat your Smarties, do you eat the red ones last? Yeah, there's a commercial, do you, right? Do you suck them very slowly or mm -hmm. crunch them very fast? Mm -hmm. Yummy! <laughs> right, well, enough of the nonsense. Um, That's what our entire show is about. Nonsense, yeah, no, it's true. <laughs> show Pore is back with our download of the day, and it's interesting, we mentioned Earth and View before, the uh, photo editor viewer yes. utility. I remember something about that. Well, she's going to have a look at it. So let's uh, see what Cheryl's up to, and uh, we come back, we have picture time. Hi, I'm Cheryl, and I'm here with your free file of the day. So we're talking pixels, we're talking resolutions, we're talking Earth and View, which is a really small free file that you can download off of twocows.com. And what it allows you to do is manipulate digital photos. Mmm, yay. So I already have a photo plugged in here of me. You can do a lot of different things. You can zoom out, zoom in. Let's zoom out a little bit. Ooh, look, it's me playing the balloon air guitar. Yeah, how much fun is that? A lot of different things you can do. First of all, you can actually create slideshows on this. It's really, really easy to do. And you can marry it with audio as well. So you don't know what to get someone for the birthday? Slideshow. Uh, for the images, you can do a lot of different things with the images. Rotate them left and right, obviously. Let's zoom out a little bit here. One of the things that I find really fun that I've had a lot of fun playing with is if you go under the edit button, it has paint, show paint dialog. So click on that, and over here on the right-hand side of the page comes up a little paint dialog box. You can do a lot of different things. Uh, you can increase the pixel width. Let's increase it to about five, and see, we're going to click on the black there which is an outline we're going to keep the black and then i'm going to go up here on the top right hand corner i'm going to take my paintbrush and bring it over here and see what i would look like as a member of the grateful dead yeah there we go nice beard happening there it's not long enough their beards are really really oh that's easy top yeah, I'm thinking I look better clean shaven, but I'm not sure. But Earth and View, really, really great. Download it from twocows.com. Takes 30 seconds to download, and you can play with it for a lifetime. And by the way, guys, I'd like some of those M&Ms you're hoarding down there, please. Thanks. Now, Earth and View is one of my favorite uh, you know, products that I always download. I always, and it's been around for, like, forever, right? Yes. One of my I like favorites. It. I so, like it, too. And Cheryl's awesome. Yes. Well, okay, so now it's picture time. Yeah, speaking of photographs and resolution. Oh, good. There we go. Higher resolution people. Higher resolution people. And people have sent them in, in high enough resolution right now. Remember we've talked in the past about when people send pictures that are too small, they yeah. look very grainy? That's why. You need to increase the resolution on the pictures. That's very good. You're very good out there in elaborate sign. Thank you for sending the right yeah. resolution. So here we go. Okay. This week's pictures. We have uh, our viewer, Chris. Who lives in Mexico or Spain or something like that. I, he didn't actually say where he was, no. so. But, uh, it's a tropical I mean, locale, it's a nice hat. It looks like there's a boat in the background too, so maybe he was just on a trip. Yeah, cool. Anyways, yeah, fun. thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Uh, Darren from uh, Durham, UK mm -hmm. has uh, sent this picture. We've asked for pictures of people's television sets. Yeah. And this is his Philips television set with a sandwich on it. <laughs> I like sandwiches, not as much as I like Smarties. sandwich, apparently. There you go. <laughs> Our viewer Jeremy yes. actually took us on a trip to Niagara Falls. That's yeah. good. I was just there, actually. Were you? Yeah, Niagara Falls. I was right down there. You can see right down here, and the right, right there. I stood right there. Did you go over in a barrel? No, I didn't. But you know. Next trip. Next trip. I promise. We'll take there you promise. Go. Thank you, Jeremy. And last but not least, our viewer Juan oh. from the Gatnos uh, sent a picture of his kids. Oh, do we know their names? No, we do not. Okay. I always ask him the hard questions. And there you go. So. <laughs> There's another thing, now that we've got this resolution thing out of the way, yes. send us pictures, or send us the names of your kids, send us your own name, yes. send us the names of your frogs, dogs, tell us where you're from, all of that good stuff. Yes, exactly. Tell us exactly where you were when you wore the sombrero. Because mm. we want to know. It's very important to us. Yeah. And he, what Juan said about this picture is that uh, his, his kids love the fact that uh, Biff jumps up on the table. Oh, they do? Yes. Where's Biff gone? Uh, he's uh, away somewhere. He's away somewhere. Oh, well. All right, well, don't forget to send your pictures in the correct resolution to... Feedback at labrats.tv. What resolution they should they send it in? One megapixel. One megapixel. Fine. It'll fit right on our screen. There you go. Perfect. All right. And of course, we have plenty of Labrats episodes. You can visit that at labrats.tv slash episodes slash episodes.html. That's very good. Sean is like a, your web browser remembers everything. OK, well, we have uh, some more time to, to uh, eat some more Smarties. And may turn our, our tongue green. Like, uh, and while we do that, we're going to say goodbye. But thank you for downloading Labrat today. And pushing play. And hey, you see? Huh? Come on, let's go.
But I'm Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. And Sean can't see Jeff. Huh? Ah. Ah. We'll see you next time. Mm. Crappy name. Are you ready? Can't blame a guy for trying.